Hey there, cats and kittens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down. What's with the violence? Hey, and who's your good-looking friend? Speaking of beautiful women who know how to take care of themselves, this week's movie review is... Gina Carano plays a very skilled operative for a private contracting company that, among other things, can extract hostages and presumably can eliminate people of interest. During the course of one of her assignments, Mallory is set up and she's now on the run as a fugitive and as a murderer. But she very quickly and very ably turns the tables on those who framed her. I've been a fan of Gina Carano since 2005, um, where I first discovered her on Rain Girls. She is a very naturally gifted Muay Thai fighter and was later seen on American Gladiators and did MMA. And so she is an interesting combination of a supremely beautiful woman who is a gifted athlete. She just has that undescribable it factor. She had a very steely resolve and she very capably was in charge and yet in peril. And based on her experience, the fight choreographer very nimbly had her utilize Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to create these really amazing action sequences. And I like this fact that, okay, this isn't a, a play fight or an extremely choreographed make-believe fight. This is a woman who I could see taking down men in a re very realistic fashion using her surroundings and her knowledge of how fights work. Channing Tatum, as one of her associates in the Barcelona job, who's later contracted to bring her in or eliminate her, is also very good. And he employs a very smash mouth, tough fighting style, which makes some encounters between them very interesting to watch. And I thought he was very good in the role. Michael Douglas, as a U.S. government boss, who also contracts Mallory for an assignment, is very good. And I liked him as well. Antonio Banderas, as one of the architects of the frame-up of Mallory, was a very suave, sophisticated, and likable bad guy. And that's something you don't see too often, is it? A likable bad guy. And yet, that's what he is. Ewan McGregor, as Kenneth, her boss in the company, is very interesting. Not one note. He manipulates Mallory and so when things happen and you really find out his true role in, in events it's great to see him get his comeuppance. So can I recommend this film? <laughs> well I, I hope you can tell that I really really like this film so I don't have any problem giving it an A and I can't give it an A plus because this is the very first attempt made by Gina Carano, and so I think there's even greater heights of performance that she can achieve. I will rent this film. I will buy this film. Should you see it in the movie theaters? Yeah, really, don't wait. Go see it. You're really going to be glad that you did. All right, guys. Well, thank you as always for watching this video, and please remember to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to pin me to your homepage. All right, guys. Well, that is all for now. Take care now. Bye.